There are two types of men in the universe, the alphas and the betas. Betas follow and serve, while the alphas are meant to lead and spread their seed. Alphas are confident in their skin. They're great with people and are natural leaders. They're also at the top of the list for women who are looking for partners. Women typically utilize men for resources and, in the case of their relationships with alpha males, for procreation. This is frequently caused in great part by their inherent need for the association of being with an alpha or to be part of a life that holds societal value for them. The term manipulation is inadequate to describe this process because it implies some level of malice or deliberate deception. However, it's helpful that it serves as a reminder of how deceptive women naturally are when it comes to what they promote versus what they provide in return. For survival, Women are more dependent on men than men are on them. Yet, a woman will frequently test the nature of the relationship to draw out more value from a person while decreasing the value she must supply to him. That's part of her nature because there are no other explanations for this wherever you look. So let's speak about the various ways that women mistreat guys. I frequently discuss these topics and have come to the intriguing conclusion that almost all relationships between women and men involve some sort of manipulation, if not outright abuse. And the main ways that weak men in society, men who always want to appease women, men who are psychologically subservient and want the favor of women, get other people to do what they want them to do are, for the most part doing it through blackmail and emotional manipulation. Strong, independent, and self-reliant men do not engage with other strong, independent, and self-reliant men in this manner. It takes someone a long time to develop into a strong, independent, and self-reliant man. And it's quite doubtful that he will develop in that manner from the time he is a young adult until early adulthood. A man is not born that way. He develops into an alpha male through experience, practice, and consistent effort. People become caught up in their society, culture, and media because of the way our society and culture are structured. Their place in that group primarily dictates where they are in life. This explains why individuals cling to their views so tenaciously. Now, this is a very important point because when it comes to a man's health, well-being, and strength, if any one thing is out of place, it can shut down the entire system. As a result, a man may be doing 100 things right in his life, taking care of his diet, his exercise routine, his financial future, his habits, and his social life, but still have a serious issue in one area. This can be an affair with a woman, an affair with his ex-wife, or an acquaintance. Many men will find it difficult to isolate that one issue and prevent it from having an impact on a bigger domain if they are compelled to cope with it or if they feel powerless to change it. In actuality, I believe it closely resembles a vast electrical system. You are examining every action it takes. You realize that if there is even a little electrical short somewhere along the wire, the entire system will shut down as it powers a city. One short or one fuse or failure and you're done with. That is why I'm here to tell you that a guy doesn't engage with the world or with other men in the same manner that a woman or a feminine man does. Instead, men interact with the world and other men differently. They don't engage in manipulation, playing the victim card to gain sympathy or deceiving others. Their approach is a lot more straightforward and transparent. Personally, I won't conduct any business with you if you don't treat me with openness, justice, and honesty. Although I can't make someone do anything correctly, I can state that I won't interact with you in that way. A good parent wouldn't commit some sort of fraud with his child. So when a good man interacts with another good man, he first acknowledges that the other man has expectations and boundaries regarding how you should treat him. If you don't comply with those, he won't deal with you and won't be able to stop you from acting in that way. However, he has the option of avoiding dealing with you completely. This is known as the decent men's manner of conduct. When I say that they are free men, I'm not being ironic. If there is an honest exchange of value, they will only cooperate. It's only a free market if they can trade value, such as you have a pencil or pen, and I have a dollar 
if they both chose to engage in commercial interactions. We agreed to make a trade because you want that dollar and I want a pencil or pen. That is the way of the free man. That's how free people connect and you can see how it helps both of them since one of them has a ton of pens and the other needs one but has some extra money. This is how free men communicate and the reason they do it this way is that if there is even a small short anywhere down the line, it will cause the entire system to collapse, no matter how big, powerful, or capable it is. I've been seeing people who are working to improve their lives in a variety of ways, but I'm mostly talking about their weight and physical health because I see people who are doing everything right, but yet aren't seeing any results. I experienced that myself. So, how is it possible that someone who isn't overeating, exercising, and controlling their stress still isn't getting in shape or losing weight? So even though they follow healthy eating and exercise habits and manage their stress well, they are living with a person who interacts with the world by abusing and manipulating other people's emotions. Since they value honor and integrity and get along with people in a free market and free trade, what is going to happen is that they will eventually become depressed and ill. It will be quite difficult for them to isolate that one negative aspect of their life while still making progress in all the other parts of their life, especially if they are a youngster or a person who is still learning and growing. Everything must be in place for them to advance and keep a positive attitude. Due to the fact that he teaches a different way of dealing with the world than through emotional harassment, the father or male role model is crucial. You can tell that this is an emotional appeal when dealing with the snowflake, the extreme leftist, the socialist, or the social justice fighter because they're not getting what they want. In other words, because of their training, they don't see that their behavior is wrong and counterproductive. The vote total for them remains the same even if they are shouting to the heavens. Manipulative individuals use abuse and manipulation because they have nothing to give and nothing to exchange in a free and open market. You can see why a weak, dependent individual might use these strategies. So now you have a young, healthy individual who desires to engage in a free and open market and treat others with respect. What an astounding sight that is, and what a cause of jealousy it is to those who lack those talents or who are unwilling to put in the necessary effort and sacrifice to get to that level. Or perhaps they are just unable to reach that level due to their physical limitations. What I'm saying is that they could just be weaker. They could simply not be as quick. They could simply not be as logical. Perhaps there is a significant difference between several of these crucial characteristics. They may be naturally predisposed to act in ways that are very different from those of a robust and healthy man. Or they may be males who were reared by a woman without a husband who was helpless, resentful, and unable to make the most of her circumstances. She was forced to use the strategies I'm referring to. So when she raises a child, she imparts to the child the same features and attributes. What the child learns is how he or she will interact with the world or think about the world. Manipulation is the primary tool that modern women have and use against men. They're used to it since their teenage years and will continue to use it till their last breath. They will try to use your emotions against you in order to fulfill their own wishes. They will try to manipulate you into buying them gifts, into being okay with them, seeing other people, into moving closer to where they work, and into believing in whatever they want you to believe. There's no end to it. And weak men fall for it all the time. They fall for the manipulative tactics of women, knowingly and unknowingly, because they're mostly after one thing and they'll take the abuse just for the sake of that one thing. We all know what that is. So, for men, it's best to distance yourselves from such women who you know are going to use you and manipulate you. Seriously, dating modern women is no flex. It's a bigger flex if you know what they're after, and you keep yourself calm, even if the woman tries to seduce you by bringing your wildest fantasies to life. You've got to keep your calm, and you've got to hold on to your own. For every woman who tries to manipulate men, there should always be more men who are aware of their tactics and how being indifferent to them always protects the men from being manipulated. Thanks for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel.